All right, we have a thumbs up. Space Explorers between the lines. Three, two, one, go. And we are now starting qualification match number 17 here at the Minnesota State Robotics Championship. Robots moving off that hab level, earning points. They're also scoring points by moving the cargo into the cargo ship as well as placing those hatch panels. Red Alliance now with a six point lead here in the match. The Sandstorm has cleared. Drivers have full visibility of the field and their robots. Cargo scored in the cargo ship or the rocket is two points and a hatch, or sorry, a hatch panel is two points and the cargo is worth three. 4607, that's CIS on the Blue Alliance. They have a hatch panel in hand, trying to place it on the Blue Alliance's rocket, but the Red Alliance robot is playing defense against them. That's LQPV Robotics. They're trying to stop them from placing that hatch panel, but they're making their way around, trying to put it in place, and it sticks. Blue Alliance now with a seven point lead, minute and 30 seconds left to play here in qualification match number 17. 2264, they place cargo into the cargo ship for the Red Alliance. That's why Zeta Robotics. CIS, cargo to the cargo ship. This time that's the Blue Alliance, Red Alliance robot trying to answer back. They throw up that cargo and it sticks. That was done by Team 2052 Nightcrawler. Five points separates these two alliances. Less than a minute left to play. 28-23 for the Blue Alliance at their loading station. They have cargo in hand moving across the field. 56-38 still playing defense against CIS on the Blue Alliance's side of the field. CIS cargo to the cargo ship. They're still able to score that for three points to the Blue Alliance's score. That noise means less than 30 seconds left to play. Red Alliance in the lead by six points. Robots making their way back to their hab levels. Blue Alliance robot 4859, the first one to that hab on their way up. That's LQPV Robotics trying to make to the third level hab. Nightcrawler up for the Red Alliance, also trying to get to that third level. Five seconds left. Five points separating these two alliances. All six robots getting to that hab level as time runs out. And the official scores are now in. It'll be a victory for the Blue Alliance. The Blue Alliance had a winning score of 76 points for a one point lead over the Blue Alliance with 75. Both alliances able to earn that extra ranking point for completing hab docking at the end of the match. Blue Alliance will also earn two ranking points for winning the match. Up next, we'll have qualification match number 18.